hi friends what's this entry widget here only numbers are allowed if i am entering anything other than the number it will not it will not be allowed so let's say one two three it's a number only the moment i moved out of this one focused out then this submit button is highlighted or it is enabled it is, otherwise it was disabled now what happens suppose i have put a string here which i am not supposed to do here it's for the number only then once i moved out of this then this is disabled so this is the way we can uh, various uh, input data we can validate and we'll check it whether it is match the requirement or not even not that we can move out of the uh, when the focus is out of it even when uh, entering the key also you can directly check this one we'll learn all about this this is a blank window with a simple label here you can see the label says enter only to this we'll add our, all our uh, other entry boxes where the validation will be before that let's start with one declaring one tuple saying font one that will hold our styles and all this is the font family times size is 18 let's say style is uh, normal not you can use bold italic anything so that uh, particular font one will use it here so font equal to font one this is for the label now let's come and add our entry for which we'll add the validation also so we'll say e1 e1 is our entry box now tk dot entry what's my parent window is my w is my parent window line number three i have declared it now what is that uh, first thing is validate when it should validate it is the validate can be it can be equal to either we're giving it key the other values are focus in focus out means when the cursor is first placed that means the focus is in then the validation should work that way we'll say it's focus in focus out means when you lose focus in the demo whatever we have seen that is the focus out now key means each time a key is pressed and we can add all also or none also so these are the values so we are using key now that means that every keystroke we should check the whether it is a valid entry or not so that's what we'll be checking out so next important command is valley validate command validate command so this validate command will what you are telling is a will register a function where this validation will take place now i am just giving my valid what is my valid i'll just explain to you now a percentage p this is a percentage substitute we call it now what this will be that the value of the entry if edit is allowed so that's what i am telling so other values are s small less but we'll we'll discuss about that so in this case i am just calling my valid this is a it's a callback function but directly i am not calling i'll through i'll register it here so let me first register it otherwise i may miss that one so what i am telling my valid equal to my w there is a register is there register yes register now in that register i am telling giving a validate now what is this validate is i have to define it now so uh, for that purpose i will let me come up here i will say what is the validate here that is a function which will be there's a callback function i have to use it define validate let me put pass here i will valid sorry here i have to function it is so fine so now till now everything ready okay i have to place the grid here for this entry box so e1 dot grid equal to this is row sorry grid row is one then column equal to next to that so two slightly i will give pad x equal to let's say five that's all uh fine what i will do i will just keep one more entry box there is no validation because once i focus out functions it should go somewhere we will not put it in the bottom in between one more entry box will give but there will not be any validation or anything it is just to place our cursor once we focus out so we'll say that width equal to let's say seven and this should be e2 and here it is e2 now this column will be next to it three pad x equal to five and here let's give so okay fine so now now we'll place a button this button will say whether it should say enable or disable based on our validation so we'll place the button here b1 equal to tk dot button 
now parent window is my w now what you are telling is uh, some text will give now usually it should be a submit when anyway, we are not going to write all the code for submit and all that's a different uh, story altogether so submit so this button will enable or disable based on our validation status so let me put it in the grid grid row equal to one column how where it will be here column equal to four will put and let's come back that font whatever we have used we have not uh, whatever we have declared we have not used it so let's put that font equal to font one and uh, come here for the second one also font equal to font one that is the advantage we declare at one point and keep on using it so again font equal to font one so everywhere slightly bigger font i am putting now this pad x slightly i will reduce it three and here also it should be three so now let just let's see the layout of it once we'll see this yeah here it is so you can see i can enter anything uh, there is no uh, problem here i can go to the next and submit okay now let's now go to our function so here the validation will be registered here now once the validation what's the first thing we'll do it will receive the user input this will receive it i'm just giving it name as you input or user input now this user input if you see all these validate functions has to return two things only a true or false it can't return anything else so for that purpose we'll say if now user input uh input is digit now what is this will do is digit will return me true if the user input is uh, is digit only if it is a character it will return me false so based on that i will return the status if user input is is digit now let me what i want to do it is then in that case i will say b1 what is b1 b1 is our button b1 config i am doing two things here b1 com config state state is equal to disabled now if it is is digit so okay sorry it in this case so what i will do if i first want to write i will put it a not case so if it is a character then disable the button fine so if it is not an integer means i have entered a b c d something then disable the uh, button and same time else i will give a else condition also b i will just copy this and place it here say it is normal so no more disabled so that is the condition now you must also understand that uh, this uh, this has to return always so let me just say this now here i will come out of the if else thing then i will say return uh, user input dot is digit this will return the value of it or otherwise you can store it and uh, use it also so now that's all now this will this code will prevent any character and it will not allow because here you can see it checks every key it is not a focus out it is every key so it will not allow me to enter any character in the input field that will see now let's see what i am what how this is behaving now i am entering one two three four okay now i am trying to enter a what happens it's not allowing me it's not allowing me to type a i am pressing one more key d f g whatever i press it it is not allowing and at the same time submit button is disabled now what i will do i will just put it back one and write it again so this is how on the key event this is uh returning me the false and disabling the button and not allowing me to enter it so this is the thing another thing is it this is this type of validation is not always true because sometime i may have to i have to judge it or i have to validate it once i am lose the focus or i am moved out say i am moving out and move to the next time here now that this checking should be done the reason is suppose i have a email id email id every character by character i should not monitor it i should monitor it once the user completes it so that point is when she moves out of the uh, input that time the validation should work that we will see next okay for our better understanding we'll now we'll go for focus out 
So what you understand by focus out is when you move the focus out of it or you press the tab, shift to the next entry, then the, it is that uh, validation will be triggered. So let's see this and here also slightly will change it because here uh, we are every time we need not each digit, each digit, we need not check it. Now I'm just giving a variable st, st user input is digit. Now I'm just holding it here. Here I am telling st instead of that. My point here is because I will be using different different uh, methods of validation. So at one point only I will be changing it. Why everywhere I have to change return st. That's all. So let's see. And this time note that we have used uh, focus out. So once it moves out, then only it will tell me. It will not check. So it will allow me to enter. Uh, so let's see how this works. Now here I am. So because it is focus out, so it will not stop me from entering character. So A, S, D, B, okay, whatever, it allows me. Now I am pressing the tab, watch, this button is disabled because now it has triggered here. Now what happens if I'll again go remove these all these things, I have only entered digits, still it is disabled, okay, because I have not triggered that function. I am just moving out of it. I am clicking in the next one. See now, now it is enabled. So this is the, the reason is this. So this validation function is triggered on when I am focus, here it is focus out. I can also keep it both focus in and focus out by just giving focus for that let me close this and open it again now okay so moment i put it it is disabled because it is it is no there is no digit in it so i am writing one two three and once i am press i am pressing tab now so it is allowed now let me again come here it is still allowed because this now i am moving out it is disabled now even if i come here also this is not a, this is still in disabled condition because two characters are there now another thing is now let's close this here that uh, python gives you lot of functions or methods here to check it each digit means only digits are allowed now let us make it each all number alphanumeric actually a l n u m this will also return true or false it will check it that number and alphabets are only allowed others are not allowed so now suppose a user id usually many places you will see that only number and alphabet special characters are not allowed so here you will use all number is is all number or sorry alphanumeric this is so now let me just run this and check it let's see what happens now here it is so one two three a f now this is allowed because I have changed it to here you see it's changed now what happens if I will make it a spe one special character as has I have put it now let me move out see it is disabled because of this presence of this Say again at the rate if I will put it it's disabled it will not allowed because at the rate this is not a uh, alphanumeric so it's no more alphanumeric so it's not allowing me I can remove this and try yes it is allowed so this is this is the basic difference and note that this we are checking it on focus out so if i'll put it on put it on key also i can do that let's see what happens so that i am allowed to enter here i will scroll down a bit here in this i will make it key means on any entry key i'm saving this now running this let's see it will not allow me to one two three now a b c now let me put a hash it's not allowing me or anything at the rate no it's not allowed so everything is there okay why it is still because that by default because earlier it was so let me just move the mouse out why it a b c okay i have to trigger it once okay so a b c now again i have to move out then this is still valid but nothing else is allowed to uh, enter now let's move to email validation for email validation i have just imported regular expression here you can see this and created this format or this filter here i uh, have given the name regex here in this line inside the function i have this if condition slightly i have changed and this is here where i am applying so this return value is true i am just for testing purposes printing the value true here and returning true so 
if this is true if this if condition is uh, true then it makes the uh, b1 config active otherwise it speaks the false so and returns true also and return false so let's just check this we'll see how it yeah here it is now i'll say a b c okay at the rate gmail.com it checks the format so it's true you can see here it is actually printing true so but if i'll change this remove this so this is no more a valid email so it is not allowing now let me just put again this one and i think numbers also it's allowed so once i go it yeah so this is how the, you can check the email uh, address also this entire code is available you can download it so this filter you have to remember and how this filter is prepared anyway that's another story this is allows a to z zero to number so this is a allowing format only using regular expression you can like that you can check various other conditions also the list i have we have seen that in that you can check it suppose you want that only lowercase letters are allowed so you can use one of the uh, method we had dis uh, discussed in the string so that you can use it so only uppercase are allowed or only titles are allowed so all those filters you can just you have to replace this if condition only inside that so the rest of the things can be uh, taken care and the validation and you also I hope you understand where the validation should take place when your focus is moved out or at the press of the key. You cannot check email address on the every key because the user has to complete the entire entry of the address. So that's all. Uh, I'll request you please subscribe and if you have any questions or doubt please use the comment section below to post it and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you will be notified as and when we post new videos and we frequently do that. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel.